Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Sika Review. And today we are doing a new cigar, I guess, to me. It's the Warfighters Night Shift. Night Shift, okay? Supposedly they made this to uh put tributes to the Warfighter operator who works at nighttime, at night shifts. Okay. Um Pretty cool cigar. Uh, some of the stuff, I I I think it's cool, but some of the stuff is like yeah gimmicky. But we only know if uh, if really is gimmicky after we smoke it. Okay, so let's take a look at the cigar. The cigar is six by fifty Toro. Uh, it's got Ecuadorian Habano Asgira wrapper, Indonesian binder and nicaraguan filler okay it's also got that little this is the part where i wonder if it does anything which is a strip of the candela tobacco uh that's grown in honduras uh that's on the cap at the end of the cap which has another piece uh of cap okay so yeah and the, the you know the cigar looks pretty cool i like the way the the the, the night shift logos and and the things design is pretty like cool but well, only, only way to find out like you guys know that i have um this thing about warfighter that i've been trying and i continue to try and this you know even though cigar is pretty good okay uh i tend to have like construction issue or something like that with them so if this one doesn't have it it must be a good one because from the sound of it it, it, you know, it sounds okay right so this is priced at ten fifty each, a twenty count box, and this was um, basically announced at PCA twenty twenty three. That was July of last year. Okay, so you know we'll, we'll see how this goes. Let's see if there's any more information that I can provide other than that. Not really. The only way to to know is to smoke it. Oh. Very, very sweet wood. A little bit of barnyard. Yeah, it smells so sweet. What? Okay. Cutter. Lighter. Let's go. Now I'm going to cut it just around that Candela area, which I think is like death trap for me. Because, oh, okay, I cut it well. Because Candela is fragile. Cutting around that is just like, why? Right? So we'll find out if that's a good choice. <laughs> but the draw is like usual is tight. But it's loosened up. It's loosened up. Let's see. Why am I using an ST to punch like this? Well, to congratulate Eric from getting his, I will use mine. I'm gonna make sure you turn the lighter. I mean, not the lighter, the cigar when you're lighting it. All right.
Ok. By the way, that, that, I look at the picture of that box. It's actually kind of, kind of cool because it doesn't flip like this. It folds up in. So it's it's like a bifold on top. Once, once you lift it up, you can lift it up. Oh, it's cool. A little bit of bitter hay, woodsiness, a little bit of spice. Mm. A little bit of like barnyardish thing, but it feels like a lot of things try to get through, but haven't got there. But like pepper is just basically opening up your 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 palates or something like that. I wonder if that's just a yeah, that is just glue down, right? So it's not a lot of it because I'm afraid that if it's like double, it's inside. Then I can smoke slowly because this will be very bitter. There is some sort of... Like a toasted peanut kind of thing, but it's like it has a little bit of sour beginning, so it's it's make it, it makes it harder to tell what it is. You know, another puff is different now. It's like it's hard to pick up what it is. Anyway, let me smoke one third, and we'll be right back talking about a cigar. All right, so we're back tapping it off. Um, mm, to describe the cigar. It's like a citrusy version of the 762 Warfighters. Um, it, it, it has the sweetness. I have a little bit of floralness. It's got... It's got this peanut shell taste. And it's got... Sometimes... A marshmallow sweetness to it. Like a... Sticky white marshmallow sweetness, powdery um, sweetness. But it, 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 I think the it tastes really good, but inconsistent. So like every puff is like kind of work to a flavor, but then kind of not. It, it's kind of all right for ten fifty. I, I think it's very close to that, if anything. All right. Um, this one was provided to me by Texas Cigar Society. So <clears throat> now I had to remove the band because the band is actually relatively big. And if you smoke three, one third, you're pretty much there. So let's see if I can remove it without destroying the whole thing. No, I can't. Nope. Come on. No. Why do you have to be so hard to do? Come on, man. Ah, uh, no, I had to destroy part of it. All right, here we go. The draw is on a little bit on the tight side, but it's handleable. It's handleable. Compared to some of the one that it's giving you a lot of trouble, it's handleable. Now, I like this band. This is night, night shift. But you guys know my big peeve about sideways bands that there's only one way up the other way is down and when you hold it this way it's the wrong side it bothers me so i always had to smoke it like that uh but it's pretty cool uh i like the see the specific part of it is glossy right so it's it's nice and the green does look like one of those night vision green goggle thing so it's kind of cool yeah but so far not too bad for the first third it's got a little bit of leatheriness too. Just a little bit on the nose. But I wouldn't say this is the best cigar. I said this is pretty good. In compared to all the other the their core line, I think this one is a step ahead from their core line. 
but it's the tobacco, the flavor of these tobacco reminisces of the tobacco they use in the core line too. So it really does remind me of their, their Sumatra uh, 762. Um, is this 762? I had to, I had to look it up, you know, because I, I think that's what, what's it called, 762 Sumatra. Because that's that one I remember has a more pronounced kind of leathery, floral, sugary note. And that's kind of like that. All right, let me smoke another third. I'll be right back. Two third. Now, two third. I get a little bit of mellow down flavor. The citrus and the floral kind of dominates a little bit longer. And that's pretty much it. It's not a crazy cigar. It's, about, it's just under medium or medium itself uh, in terms of strength. I would say this is a good, easygoing, beginner, novice, uh, uh, or um, just relaxing cigar. It's not crazy, but it's not bad. Right? It's not crazy, but it's not bad. A little bit of pepper still lingers. Yeah, the citrus dominates a little bit. I say it's pretty good for 1050. I can see it. I can see. I can see between nine dollar and eleven dollar on this cigar. It's it's not too bad. At first, I was worried. I, I'm I'm more worried about the the draw, the um the construction with the with this cigar brand. But other than that, I, I don't feel it's that bad. I mean, it's got flavor. And it's not bad flavor. It's good flavor. I wish I wish the flavor is a little bit stronger. But it could be. I think it varies from person to person, right? For me, I wish it's stronger. But it's not a bad cigar. It's pretty good. So yeah, right now I have between ten, about nine, nine to eleven dollar, nine to eleven. Uh, I think if the draw was perfect, this would easily be a eleven dollar cigar. I'm, I'm just uh, uh, more reserved or more. I want to give a range because I think the draw is a little bit tight for me. Right? If this draw was any loose, then it will have a perfect cigar. Maybe I'll pull something out of it and then uh, loosen up the draw a little bit and it'll be perfect. I don't know. So yeah. Last third. Let me finish it up and we'll go to the summary. Okay. So last third. Now here's a... Uh, I, the reason I want to start now is because I don't want to wait until I'm done with the cigar to show you guys. But I did pull a little stem out of it. And uh, now the draw is perfect. It tastes a lot better. And the smoke output. A lot better. So, yeah, that's one of the, my things is that, you know, for Warfighter, for me, is the draw is not perfect a lot of time. This is why I want to go between 9 and $11. Because I think if the whole cigar was nicely smoke output and everything the flavor where it's supposed to come out like second third and stuff like that should have been a lot better like but i tasted a lot lighter than what i was expecting it so this is why i couldn't you know i couldn't judge it right away i had to give a range but for me if if i can get the whole cigar smoke perfectly and the smoke output is like that I'm pretty sure this will be a eleven dollar cigar, right? Well, well, at least ten fifty. But um, because it didn't for this particular experience, I'm gonna stay with nine. I'm gonna stay at nine. The last term with the smoke output being a little bit more, the flavor was even better than the first third. But I think that has to do with the stem. <clears throat> see that? You see the smoke output is ridiculous once it, once it dries right. So I can, I, I need to revisit this. Well, well at least uh, get another one to smoke just for the heck of it. Because I think this could be a, a $11 uh, enjoyment. 
Yeah, it's too bad. Too bad I didn't decide to pull that stem out in the beginning. So, that being said, it's an enjoyable cigar. I think for the amount of level of the flavor that you get, it's not a dark cigar, right? It's not a very dark cigar. So it's not a lot of punchy, punchy notes, but it's very relaxing notes. You know, go with the coffee or something like that, it will be perfect too. So, you know, with that being said, I would recommend a lot of people who tend to uh, want to smoke a regular cigar, not too punchy, relaxing, good for chatting and stuff like that with a lot of smoke output, this is a cigar for you. But if you're looking for that, that Nicaraguan dark cocoa and stuff like that, that's not this cigar, okay? But this cigar is actually not bad. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, compared to all the other Warfighter, I think I enjoyed this one probably the most. Probably the most, okay? So with that being said, big thanks to Texas Smoke Society, Texas Cigar Society, uh, Texas, Texas Cigar Society, that's a mouthful sometimes. Texas Cigar Society for providing me this cigar. I get to try it. It's really nice. Uh, I um, I enjoyed it. And yeah. Sometimes, uh, you know, because of uh, my past experience, I tend to wear off certain cigars. Like I don't go towards certain cigars because, uh, you know, uh, the experience that I have in the past. But something like this, when someone hands you a cigar, you smoke it and you're like, I have a different view on the cigar. Maybe I'll give it more try. And this will be one of those cigars. Maybe I'll give it more try, you know, uh, uh, just because this particular one I can smoke. I, I can enjoy it. I can have a conversation. I can I smoke it through quite quickly, regardless, because this, the, the flavor isn't bad. Right. So, yeah, that will be. Mm, yeah, like I, 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 I try to. <clears throat> be a, f a fair review on this one so that I don't I don't let my past experience influence this one as much. There is a downside being that this is it's a Habano Escuro, but it doesn't feel like a Habano Escuro. Does that make sense? It doesn't feel like a dark note. It doesn't feel like very, very punchy, peppery or anything like that, which fine with me, but you know, um, the thought of this being Habano Oscuro set a wrong expectation before I started. But if I, I just smoked the cigar as it is, it was enjoyed. If that makes sense. Okay, so that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, comment, share. And uh, you know, if you want to see uh, early uh, release on videos, make sure to join our uh, membership program through YouTube and uh, we also have podcasts on the Sundays uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and make sure to listen to those some people like it so I will see you guys in the next one bye guys